arrived. Yeah, Mike, she arrived about 30 minutes ago. And when she arrived, uh, you knew that wasn't a good sign. She was right here at Fourth and Race, walked towards where the collapse is without saying anything to us. Uh, this is the uh, scene lighted, as you can see, where the collapse occurred several hours ago. We are told by the city manager's office that the fire department and the police will advise media when there is an update that is planned. But with that confirmation, and urban search and rescue has been on the scene here, and Dr. Samarco uh, now here, one would expect that we would receive some official word uh, sometime soon. Obviously, they'll have to be uh, family uh, notified. The concern grew really in the past 90 minutes. Police on the periphery here blocking forth um, and buses here at the ground level blocking the view from ground level as a result. 3CDC saying this construction project uh, is paused for now. Obviously, the development team has been assessing the stability of that portion of the building. We know that when something like this happens, a lot of thoughts roll through heads initially. and. We talked with Don Kraft a while ago, who lives across from the project, and this is what he told us about what crossed his mind. I thought about that collapse I seen on the news a couple of weeks ago, where a building had collapsed. And my first uh, idea was that maybe the whole building was going to collapse. But then when I seen that the uh, rescue squads were here and talked to the construction workers, they told me it was just the top floor had collapsed from uh, concrete being poured. Now, Don Kraft went to the top of his building on the south side of 4th Street, leaned over the top, he told us, to get a better view and a better picture of the damage on his cell phone. Of course, property damage is one thing. Human damage is another. And we await for official word here from the Hamilton County coroner and whoever else will join her about the death that has now been confirmed on this Monday of Thanksgiving week. Live downtown, John London, WWT News 5.